All right, we've all had this happen. You've got a great book, you send it into CGC, you can't wait to get it back, you put that 9-8 into your collection, and then this happens. Or this. So, what do you do? I'm gonna take a few of these books that I have that didn't quite meet my expectations, crack them, clean them, press them, and then resubmit them. All right, so the books first, what do we got? We have Thor 337, this Canadian price variant. This is, of course, uh, first Beta Ray Bill. And the grader's notes on this one are a crease left bottom of back cover and multiple dents. That seems real easy. I should be able to fix that. Seven seems real harsh on this book. It looks pretty clean. Uh, by way of cleaning, you know, I probably don't have to do too much, but it definitely needs a press. There's two noticeable spine ticks on here, um, but that shouldn't account for a 7.0, so we can get that one up. Next, Invincible 5. So this is the first appearance of Alan the Alien. Key book, uh, great part of my Invincible collection, nice cover too. This one really has me perplexed. Light, multiple fingerprints, right center of cover. Small crease, left center of back cover, breaks color. I can't see that one. I don't know where they're looking. It also says moderate scuffing. So this book is getting a clean, a press, a resubmit, and hopefully uh, at least a single grade bump. Up into a nine would be nice. All right, then we have Moon Knight 33. This is, if you ask me 32 or 33 for first and second appearance of Moon Knight, this is the better cover in my opinion. I love this cover. Uh, 5.0 seems real harsh. This is light bends to cover, light creasing to cover, light spine stress lines to cover. Uh, obviously it's a bit dirty as well, just looking at the back of this book, I can tell that it's a bit dirty, it needs to be cleaned. So that definitely brought the grades down, but otherwise this is a pretty nice looking copy that I know I can clean this up. The dirt for sure is gone as soon as I get this open. and. Uh, a press would help this. I'm confident this will get a nice, healthy grade bump. Avengers, you know, I picked this up because it was $30, I think. It's basically the cost of grading for a 9.0. The book looks clean. I haven't looked up the grader's notes, but crack, press, resubmit, of course, that should get a better grade. Nothing super key about this book, uh, but dope cover. So there you go, there's the books. I obviously have a bit of a wait to see how this all turns out, but for you, the CGC unboxing is right now. All right, here we go. Got them back. So these are the original labels that I had. And here is the two boxes of fresh slabs from CGC. I'm gonna open these up and see how well I did with the CPR on these books. Okay, so here we go. I got my wife to help me out with this. I've taped the old labels on top of the new labels so that we can have a complete reveal. Uh, I'm gonna start this off, I think, with my favorite book of the bunch, which is Werewolf by Night 33. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this book, to be honest. I know it's probably a lot cleaner, and I got some of the dents and, and um, creases and stuff out of the front cover. Unfortunately, while I was working on this, I have like a little uh, light that I put on my cleaning desk. Like this. And as I was cleaning the book, uh, I think my leg or something hit this and it fell over and knocked the book down on the ground. And I ended up with a small, like real tiny tear uh, on the front cover of the book, which I think is gonna hurt my chances of actually bumping up this grade. It was a 5.0. So here we go. We've got Werewolf by Night. 33, original grade is 5.0. Let's see, what do we got for the new grade? Oh yeah, and I did the custom label on this one too. It was five and yes, woo, there we go. From a five to a six. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Oh, that was so worth it. I don't know if you can see here in the top, we ended up with a little bit of a a slit, but boom, boom. This is the book that I was worried about that I was not actually gonna improve my grade. 
Uh, I'll get the before and afters, obviously, so you can see just how wavy and denty and stuff this book was, but like it's nice and smooth now. The back is nice and clean. Oh, yes. <laughs> this is my favorite uh, Werewolf by Night cover for sure. Uh, if you have to have 32 or 33, this is my, my favorite cover of those two. And custom label, 60. Oh, oh, that is a fantastic start. I didn't know how that one was going to go, to be honest. For the four books I submitted, I had low expectations for this. I've got two books that I'm not too sure and one book that I'm really hopeful uh, turns out good. All right, there we go, Werewolf by Night. Next, we're gonna go to The New Avengers. This one I snuck in there. I don't know. It was a 9.0. I thought it could be better. Is it 9? Yeah, it was 9.0. I thought it could be better with a, a bit of a press. It had uh, a crease in one of the corners. Uh, it had some denting on the back cover. I think that's what it had said. So it was a 9. Any improvement on a 9? 9.6! Woohoo! Oh, awesome. There we go. From a 9 to a 9.6. That is a huge grade bump. That's huge. So 9 to 9.2, 9.2 to 9.4, 9.4 to 9.6. Three full grades on New Avengers. I would say. Spider Woman revealed to be the Skull Queen. Oh, yeah. Uh, and obviously, it is an Avengers 1 homage. Awesome. Oh, two for two. Two for two. Oh, I'm so stoked about that. 9-6. It is just an awesome cover. Uh, I can still see where there's kind of the spine ticks on the side that I couldn't get rid of, so that's where I got my deduction. But the fold that was in the corner is gone. Um... However, CGC did put a ding in this bottom corner that wasn't there before. It's like crunched in there now. But that's okay. All right. Two left. We've got Invincible 5. This was an 8.5. This is one of those I'm not sure. Um, I picked it up cheap. First Alan the Alien. Any of the, the low number Invincibles, anything under 10, I think is a great buy if you can get it for cheap. Uh, the graders notes were a smudge on the cover and I figured I can get out a smudge and it wasn't until I actually cracked the book open and got my hands on it that you know, the smudge wasn't going to be so easy to get out the, you know, they called it a fingerprint and I think it was probably in there from the printing process. So there might be nothing I can do about that. All right. So it was 8.5. Oh yeah. And I got the custom label on this one too. Look at that. Dope ass invincible label. All right. 8.5 to... 9.2! Oh, I'm stoked. I was hoping that this would hit a 9. So there we go. We've got two grades on that one. Yeah, after I got this open and actually got the book in my hand, I knew there was no chance this was hitting a, a 9, 6, or 9, 8. Honestly, I was just hoping I would bump it up to a 9. But 9, 2 is even better with the custom label. There we go. We are 3 for 3. And the last one. All right, this is the book that I had hopes for. Uh, boom. Thor 337, Beta Ray Bill, first appearance. And this is the Canadian price variant, I believe. Uh, oh, what am I covering it up for? 7.0. All right, so this one I also got on the cheap because it was a 7.0. Uh, I was looking for this book because I have 338, 339. Obviously, I wanted the 337, so I've got the full set. The other two are both 9.6. Uh, I don't think we're going from seven to nine, six, but this book was dirty. It had a couple little dings. I'm really hoping for a decent grade bump on this one. Although, you know, a grade bump of three on that Avengers, I don't think I'm going to beat, but let's see. So we go from seven to 8.5. All right. So seven, 7.5, eight, 8.5. All right. I figured this would be my biggest grade bump. And there we go, seven to 8.5. That is four grades up on Beta Ray Bill. Uh, Canadian price variant, good, they got that on there. First appearance of Beta Ray Bill. That is sweet. Oh, there we go, CPR for the win. 
Uh, honestly, I don't know what I'm happiest about in this box. Boom. Honestly, the Werewolf by Night was a huge surprise to have the Werewolf by Night come in with an actual grade bump and a decent grade bump, two grades. Uh, I can't be mad about that. I am a bit mad that that light fell over and actually, you know, ripped the cover. Uh, Cause that might've been a bump to a seven, honestly. The, I think the rip kind of kills it. But there we go, CPR for the win. All right, I was gonna talk about why you might do a CPR, you know, why you might spend the time cracking your books, pressing them, cleaning them, and the cost of resubmitting. But I think after that unboxing, I don't need to do that. I think it's pretty obvious. If the damage is there in a way that you can fix it, it is absolutely worth it. This one's not really a PC book for me, but that grade bump is huge. The other books, those are all PC books. Those aren't going anywhere. So to have that grade bump for the cost of regrading, which was about 30 bucks, all day, all day long, I am bumping that Werewolf by Night 33 to a six. All day long, I'm bumping that Invincible. All day long, I'm bumping that Thor. That is crazy. I'm so excited. All right, I gotta know, what's your favorite? Have you ever done a CPR before? And did you get these kind of results? I'm super stoked about these results. Leave a comment below and let me know. I'm, I'm actually eager to hear what you guys think of doing CPR on your books, if you find that it's worth it or not. Uh, obviously, I am super happy. So, I know that a CPR is not something that everybody does or everybody wants to do, but I know everybody likes to see unboxings, so check out this video next. This was an absolute blast of an unboxing, and I was blown away. Awesome. Go check this one out.